Hi everyone, welcome back to my next video. Today we're starting a new series. You know, over the years I've accumulated a lot of videos and I go back and I look at them and think, man, that was a good video. That was really useful and helpful to people. And so what we've decided to do is go back and find uh, the five best vehicles in a category. And we have 15 categories we're gonna do it in. So some of the categories will be cars, SUVs, uh, class Bs, vans, minivans, uh, schoolies, uh, shuttles, 15 categories. I thought, how did we come up with that many? But we've got them. And so it will be like our five best videos. And we're going to put it together like an open house. So you know how sometimes you like to peek in on people's houses and see what they really look like? Well, these are open houses, so no peeking. Uh, people have opened them up and said, hey, come and take a look. And so uh, We'll have five different cars and you can look it in and you think, well, that's a good idea. Oh, but that's even better. Or, wow, I never even thought of that before. And so if you're thinking about these vehicles, 15 categories, uh, you can decide, you'll see into each of them, so many, and pretty quickly, um, and get more ideas. And maybe you can choose the vehicle, the category of vehicle. And then once you choose a category of vehicle, you think, that's what I'll do. I'll take that from there and that from there, and I'll take a little bit from there. Man, I'm going to have a great home. Okay, let's take a look at these five vehicles. Yet I'm really, this is the most unusual van setup <laughs> I've ever seen. I mean, I've seen a lot of them look exactly the same, and I've never seen anything like this. Well, my bed goes side to side. I've got over three feet wide. Um, and and, and behind about... the driver's area. That's yes, really unusual. It is. I don't think I've ever seen a van do that. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. Um, I like it though. Thank you. I like so it. So in terms of the sleeping space, I'll just add that there's a table that slides in here. So there would be a table right here. There is, but it's only this high. Right. It's only about five inches off the ground. Mm -hmm. And the point is for it to butt up exactly to that bed so that I can take the two cushions off the back of my bed, which that's now in sort of couch, couch mode. Right. You know, if I just wanted to sit around during the day. But if, I, if my daughter traveled with me again, I would, I would leave the table in here and I would bring those two cushions down. She'd sleep with her head at this end and we would share foot space. And this whole uh, unit on the side is totally unique to me. I've never seen anything like it. <laughs> The pull I guess out that's here. because it came out of my head. <laughs> it, it did, and this was your idea. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. The pull out here yeah. is, is unbelievably creative and brilliant to me. So, and I just kept things simple. This is just wood on wood. Yeah. So, so it's kind of old fashioned furniture, right? Yeah. It just, you just glide it in and out and so, the whole thing just slides in and it's pretty easy. So you just lift it and push it. Like, it's really not hard. Now, sometimes I have to stop it and just tuck the hose up a little bit, but it just goes like that. It's, it's That didn't look all that hard. No, it's not all that hard. And then, you know, it's just... And like then it's that. gone. Amazing. And that's it. So the other thing is, uh, the, the cutting board is designed by... Uh, one of the builders had this idea, and I just loved it. He said, why don't you make a removable, a removable cutting board so that you can access your propane tank? So yeah, so I just, it's got a regulator on. I just turn it off at night. I ventilate inside. So on this end, you just have some storage at the end I of do. your unit here? Yeah, my kids kind of laugh at me because I call everything something. But this is the, um, this is the bathroom here. This is sort of the, where I keep all my toiletry, toiletries. Uh -huh. yeah. This is the library. I just keep my journaling books, whatever I'm reading. This is where I hang out, right? right? Like this is my couch and right. on a hot day, I can open both doors and have a nice breeze. And on a cold day, I just leave the back open. Or... Now, the first question I ask nearly everyone is, how do you go to the bathroom? How do I go to the bathroom? Well, here's my toilet. <laughs> it's right here. And it's the Reliant Sluggable Loo Top. All right. Okay, and then uh, next we all want to know about your bed, how you've yep. built your bed. So, my bed is very, very easy. Anyone can do it. So, it is just a piece of plywood and four 4x4s. Four That's oh, wow. it. Yeah. And so, the plywood is um, 70 inches by 24 inches. 
because I'm small, I don't need a big bed. That is a narrow bed. It's a narrow bed and it fits me just fine. I'm a side sleeper. So. And uh, are, what are you using for a mattress? The mattress is a piece of foam from Home Depot that comes in uh, 25 by 72. So it's a little bigger than my bed. Mm -hmm. Yep. And it's, a, I think, a two or three inch foam. So I use that with a mattress topper, egg crate mattress topper folded in half. And that's enough. Yeah. yeah. Most people that's find funny. something like that works yeah, real well. Funny for me anyway. And so cooking? Cooking, yep. Here's my cooktop. It's just a propane <clears throat> cooktop. And I'm finding that I'm using it more and more. So the buddy heater, the little teeny buddy heater that sits on top of these canisters is in the back. I haven't been using it. I use this for heat as well. Right, which is some, which is what I do as well. Yeah, I use, uh, it works perfectly fine. Yeah, so but it, it, this space is so small, that little buddy heater that sits on the propane, it just... Too much. Three minutes and I'm turning it off. Right. And there's no... In this, I um, use less propane because yes. I can turn it down low. Right. The buddy heater is just on and off. And you said earlier you didn't have uh, refrigeration, no cooler. I don't have refrigeration. I do have all my food in the inside here in the bookshelf. Um, so I do eat fresh fruits and vegetables and I, um, you know, a lot of quinoa, a lot of rice, that kind of stuff. You too, I, I need healthy. Yes, I do. But I do have electric. I have a small bank of batteries behind my driver's seat and they're eight teeny weeny little batteries run in series and they charge off my alternator when I drive. Very nice. Thank you. She's home. I love her. Lots of lots of nice touches that say yeah, you. That say this me. is me. Exactly. I collect frogs, so I have little frogs hanging everywhere. I've got frogs all across my dashboard that people give me. Um, you know, you don't want to turn down gifts. I just let people know to give me small things, little teeny things. And sometimes things have to um, come out if something else comes in. <laughs> And I do, I do get rid of stuff. I'm, I'm a firm believer in purging. I've never been one to hoard stuff or keep stuff. I grew up with um, family that does that and I didn't like that. I have family that paid um, for years for storage units and I couldn't understand why. You store it and you never see it again and that's money you throw away every single month. So you actually removed the seats, yep. but you still have the floor, and that's a big hole under there. Well, the, the panels that they had for that were kind of pain in the rear, so I just cut my own panels and okay. put, put them in there. Makes yeah. sense. Yeah. Well, do you mind if we take a look around and see what sure. you've got going here? <laughs> sure. Grant, why don't you go ahead and tell us about your basic layout here. You've got a lot of cabinet and storage on one side and your bed on the other. Right, and you know, like I said, the bed is just a board laying on top of tubs, and each tub has a different, you know, type of stuff in it mostly. And then there's a little bit of room back side of here to jam things. We've even got a whole shovel in there. And then these are the tubs that the bed is sitting on. And as you can see, the bed is just a loose board stacked on top of these tubs. Um, and two layers of foam, um, memory foam, and Joanne's cushion foam. And I use this afghan to um, let air get in there. On the left side is the cabinets that I built. So the cabinets are designed primarily around these plastic storage drawers. And I definitely recommend just plastic storage drawers. They're yeah. lighter, they don't fall apart. Um, and then I needed space for my two laptops. These are, are two separate laptops, um, both of which either the keyboard comes off or the keyboard folds all the way back. And so my keyboard just kind of pops out there and I use my glasses case to hold that up and I can work all wow. day in here. So those are your actual laptops? Yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, wow. And then because both of these laptops are laptops that you can um, write on with a stylus, I made this frame so that it can be latched into a different positions. Yeah. Tuck this away. And there's just enough room between those two little legs back there for that keyboard. And then the whole thing just closes up. Nice desk setup. And there's my right? kitchen counter. 
And uh, this is just uh, more storage over here. Yeah, and all the rest of it was just whatever would fit. And under the, uh, there was a still and go seat back here too. And you can see. That's enormous. There, yeah, I mean, look how far back it goes. Yeah. This I, is your home. Everything I, everything I own is in here now. Okay, well, this is my kitchen. And uh, I just have this up here to protect it from the sun because it's very, very bright. <laughs> so I got that kind of hinged up there. And uh, I have plenty of storage. Uh, my stove, and when I cook, I just pull my stove out to my table. It's real simple. Um, I got so much storage in my dishes and it's kind of messy, but you can see I got more than enough food probably for a month <laughs> in there and it's plenty. And I got plenty of areas in the side to stuff things. Mm -hmm. So you get, you get so much more in here than you think you're going to. Right. So I want to say my carrier, how do you say that tool? Thule. Thule. Oh my God. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's amazing. I have so much in there and that's, I call that my attic. Right. And so then when I leave camp, I could put my garbage and my dirty clothes up there and everything and not have it in my car. So back here we have my bed. Um, I have storage there, storage there. Uh, when I go to move, I just lay them down and they do fine. Uh, I have lots of storage units on the side, on both sides. I'm using this one as like a little office. <laughs> that one is a nightstand. Um, and then I have tons of storage. Um, I have clothes, linens, blankets. Um, so this is just a cot. This is just, a, yeah, just a, well, it's actually a narrow twin uh, frame. And I already had the mattress, a narrow twin mattress. Mm -hmm. uh, and this was donated by an awesome guy. And uh, I was gonna cut it down, but my bucket fits right underneath here. And that's nice. And that's perfect, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So this has so much storage. I've got all my clothes, linens, um, dirty clothes, uh, daily stuff, and just so much in here. On my weighted blankets down here. <laughs> and I think it's very wise to use uh, duffels. Um, yeah, because as you empty them, they shrink down and they don't take up so much space. Right. Yeah. I, I love soft-sided storage, yes. <laughs> yeah. And so, they slide in and out easy. They don't weigh anything. It's just everything about them is good. Yes, they're awesome. And then, of course, um, my front seats turn around, and that was by the previous Nomad. Thank you very much. Yeah, they're fantastic. <laughs> and uh, it's very comfortable. I just, I can stretch out, and <laughs> this is the life. It is. <laughs> this is the life. It's a, your own very own recliner. It is. It's fabulous. I have a living room, a bedroom, and a kitchen. Yeah. And tell us, Lars, where you are. Hello, Bob, and everybody who's watching. Well, I'm in Denmark. You see, it's not a big car. It's just a small Volkswagen Chirant, or small. I, I don't think it's small, actually. I, uh, I think it's just the size I want it. Here, I got a uh, 100 watt of solar panel on the roof rack. And here at the back of the Raven, as I call my my vehicle, I have a, a box, and uh, that is extra storage. And also, it's my kitchen. I put my uh, stove and and pots and pans and everything when I cook. I put on top here, and then I stand here outside and cook. Here, I got my recliner. <laughs> And of course, it's not a lot of space, but well, um, only I only need room for me. But uh, inside, when I want to eat or something, I put my table leg there and put the tabletop on. And then I have my table where I can sit on my computer or I can sit and eat. And uh, obviously, if I want to, I can move closer so I can reach then over here is my bed and uh, well it's a uh, in the top end it's 70 centimeter and uh, in the 
foot end or the the end where I have my feet and my legs, it's 50 centimeters wide. There's room for a little bit more here by the door, so uh, so that's why. These here, down here at the end of the bed, I have my window covers, and they are just uh, reflective. And then I put black fabric on one side, so uh, that way when I put them, I just squeeze them in into the window frame. And uh, when I do that, and you look at them from the outside, it just looks like the windows are heavily tinted. Here next to my bed, here is my refrigerator, and it is literally just a normal house fridge that uh, I have. A, 300 amp hour of batteries. I got one at the very back end. Uh, I have three batteries, 100 amp hour each. So one at the back end, and then I got two of them up here under the under the bed, under the front of the bed. I have two batteries, and then under the also under the bed, under the actually uh, stripped onto the to the headrest of the other seat over there is uh, my inverter I can show you uh, and uh, this is where I have the inverter I've got a thousand watt inverter here under the headrest and it's just to be completely honest it's just a cheap inverter it's not pure sign or anything but I never had any problems you know even it's just a, a cheap inverter I use it when I when I use my laptop and I run the fridge on it and it's okay it's not a problem but yeah that's uh, that's pretty much it. That's my house. It's not a lot of space, but uh, well, I I enjoy it, and I think I got everything I need. So there you have it, folks. You got to see five new vehicles in this category, uh, and I hope I hope the uh, the contrast of seeing them one right after another really helped you to visualize a lot better of different ways of doing things, and that you saw that, and it piqued interest and you saw some things you liked. Maybe so you saw some things that you were thinking about doing and you think, no, I really don't want to do that. So of all that you saw, what was the thing you liked the most that you thought, you know, that's such a good idea, I'm going to copy that. So if you'd write it in the comment below, that'd be great. We can all learn together and we'll go in and read each other's comments and think, yeah, I thought the same thing when I saw that. Really? I thought that was a good idea. And that's, you know, we all have different ideas. We're all so different, you know. Uh, but hearing from each other is very helpful, I think, all the time. So if you got anything out of this video, then like us on YouTube, subscribe to the channel, hit that thumbs up button, and we'll talk to you later. Bye now.